are Ermac. Ermac. In an outer chamber of the Dragon King's throne room, Ermac did battle with Liu Kang's enslaved comrades. Ermac was more than a match for the five warriors, but their defeat was not his objective. Liu Kang materialized and one by one freed their souls while Ermac occupied the rest. Eventually, all five were awakened from their enchantment and freed from Onaga's control. Ermac was pleased that his warrior's skills could for once bring about a noble outcome. He sensed, however, that an ominous force still shaped the destiny of the realms. It was everywhere. He could feel its influence on Onaga, though the Dragon King was oblivious to its manipulation. Time was running out. Ermac feared the celebration of this latest victory would be short-lived. of Blaze shattered Ermac, separating him into the many warriors who comprised his being. Now each with his own physical form, the Ermacs are linked psychically and act according to their collective consciousness. No longer a mere fusion of warrior souls, Ermac has become an army. With Shao Kahn dead, Ermac was no longer bound to him. Anarchy erupted within Ermac as the many warrior souls that comprised his being struggled for dominance. Only one had the strength of will to quiet the chaos. The conflict resolved, Ermac returned to Outworld, determined to reunite with his past. Queen Sindel and Princess Katana were shocked to learn the truth. The trapped among the many spirits within Ermac was their husband and father, King Jared. Though he would never be the Jared they once knew, Ermac would forever serve and protect his queen and the Adenian people. Alone once more, Ermac searched the labyrinthine corridors of Shao Kahn's old fortress, searching for the source of a faint voice calling to him. Suddenly, a wisp of dust brushed his chest, wrenching free one of his many souls. The dust took the form of a man who began to consume soul after soul. As the weakened Ermac stared helplessly, he recognized the mysterious figure, the sorcerer Shang Tsung, returned from death. For a moment, Jared took control. We fixed the damage which had allowed him and reimposed our collective will. But the damage went further than we thought. Without Quan Chi's aid, 
The spell which birthed us would fail. All of our souls would die. We freed the sorcerer from captivity. But after healing us, he betrayed us. He schemed to make us his slave once again. Combat was fierce, yet we persisted, finding strength in the unique abilities of our collected souls. Now we must decide our future path. Reconciling our desires will be difficult, but reconcile them we must. If not, we will be consumed by civil war. Flawless victory. Excellent. We are many. You are but one.